Okay, you can tell today our topic is going to be Star Wars. Um, it is basically going to be talking about everything episode 8. We're going to start with one of the most asked questions. Is Luke Ray's father? Um, with that, let me tell you a reason why I believe in that theory. A reason I believe in that theory is, um, Luke had a wife, but she died. And if you see, the arm lets go and Ray's crying. But, um, I think they it was, like, the First Order was after her, so she didn't want them to get to Ray, so they dropped Ray on the, um, on, what the hell, I forgot the name of the planet, what is it, Jakku, I think, yeah, Jakku, sorry, I can't believe I'm a gigantic Star Wars fan and I forgot that, okay, anyway, let's get back to our topic, a little off topic there, okay, so, yeah, that makes it believe that it's Luke because, think about it that way. If you read, I read somewhere that Luke's wife got killed somehow, and she did have a wife. So I'm guessing Luke ran away so they couldn't find Ray, or some other stupid reason. Also, in an interview, Ray said, Isn't it so obvious who my father is? I think that means it's obvious that the way Luke looks at her in the end of the movie. Um, but there are two other candidates that I wouldn't possibly count it. Wait, I would. Sorry, I said that. Um, anyway, I think uh, that Luke is definitely the father because that's just my theory because of the girl um it might have looked like it but the fact that ray daisy ridley no also known as ray says it's so obvious uh it just makes oh i think that's just my dad setting up my birthday or something so um i guess that's it, and that's my theory about how Luke is her father. Um, those are a bunch of good reasons why. Okay, so now let's get to episode, well, that kind of has to do with episode 8, and I'm just so psyched that I think it's her father. Okay, I'm going to start off with one possible rumor about episode 8 that I think is completely not true, sounds completely unbelievable and stupid. Um, it has, um, I know Star Wars is always about surprises, but this one just sounds completely stupid. Um, um, okay, so, basically, it's just that Luke starts a Jedi training school. Um, I know anything's possible in Star Wars, but this one is just not. I mean, why would he start a Jedi training school? He's the last Jedi and possibly Rey, but there's no Jedi to train unless <clears throat> there were hidden Jedi. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that bad acting. But there definitely aren't any more Jedi. But unless we know Ben... Uh oh, Ben Solo, but he's also known as Kylo Ren. Technically, he is a Jedi. Um, the, the next thing topic I'm going to talk about is probably one of the most disappointing facts in Star Wars history. I'm not sure if this is guaranteed, but I'm pretty sure this is guaranteed that Han Solo will not be in Episode 8. I looked on the full cast online. It has everybody but Han Solo in it. Um, I have no idea why they killed him. He was a great character. But I guess maybe he'll be in 9, 10, or 11. But I just know he's not going to be in 8. 
Um, I am sorry. Disappointment. Disappointment right there. <laughs> I feel the tears. <laughs> oh, you can't see my face reaction. I'm wearing a mask while I'm even doing that. Okay. And then, next, we've got... Okay. What do we got next? Okay. So, next, let's talk about the end of episode 8. As you know, they have to put an ending duel at every single movie. There hasn't been one Star Wars movie without epis without a duel. So, apparently, the, this is the most rumor that interests me the most. Um, it's the rumor that's excited me the most. Woohoo! I'm partying. Yeah, I'm partying. I'm pa pa partying. Sorry about that. I'm just very excited about this rumor. It's that um. Um, Snoke and Kylo versus Rey and Luke, but possibly Finn. I don't really think Finn's in that. I don't really remember because I read that article about, what, three months ago? Um, I was, sur basically, what I've been doing is searching for inf info all over the web. And basically, on um, this video, well, this is part of episode 8 stuff I'm going to be talking about and yeah um yeah um sadly the top here's two things I want to talk about that are extremely disappointed and confuse me why hasn't the trailer come out didn't the Force Awakens trailer come out a year and a half before um I think Episode 8 trailer could be on. The most legit trailer I've seen yet is the ending of episode um 7. And then it's just like, woohoo, congratulations, we're on episode 8. And then it just comes, mm -hmm, with now on projection. Uh, that is beyond why they would do that. Uh, I don't think that's the official trailer, but when the trailer does come out, it better be good. Uh, maybe they're trying to make the trailer some amazing thing. Another thing is, why hasn't the title come out? Um, the title hasn't come out. I don't know why. Don't you think the title should come out? Um, Star Wars dudes, if you're watching this, I you got to give credit to this YouTube channel guy. I do not remember his name. He said, Fall the Resistance. Um, another one I could say is... Um, I can't think of anything. Uh, sorry about that. But, let's get back to it. Why hasn't the title been released? Um, I have no idea where the title's got. What happened to the title? Is... Or if J.J. Abrahams produced this one, the trailer would have been out, title would have been revealed. That's two big reasons I would have loved to see J.J. direct this one. Um, that's it. Um, please subscribe for more Star Wars Episode 8. Um, I'm probably going to take a break from Pokemon videos for a little while. I know, it's very sad. I'm probably going to be doing more Star Wars because now that Rogue One's over, I'm guessing a lot of people on the web are going to be looking for information about Episode 8. I probably should have done this about Rogue One, but I just wasn't interested in it. Um, this is off topic. I'll make a whole nother video about what I thought about Rogue One. But please subscribe for more. Uh, oh, look, it's Big Daddy. Bye.